now eleventh problem. Find the find the eccentricity eccentricity of the ellipse of the ellipse in standard form in standard form standard form if its length of the of the lattice rectum lattice rectum is equal to half of its major axis its major axis this is the problem okay find the eccentricity of the ellipse in standard form that means the equation of the ellipse in the standard form if its length of the lattice rectum is equal to the half of its major axis that means in the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 if the length of the lattice rectum is equal to the half of its major axis then we have to find out the eccentricity e value of that ellipse we have to find out so now let us recall what is the length of the lattice rectum length of the lattice rectum is 2b square by a what is length of the major axis 2a do you know what is the length of minor axis that is 2b okay that means here half of the length of the major axis so we have to relate length of the lattice rectum is equal to half of the major axis 2b square by a is equal to half into 2a we get a relation between a and b already in order to find out eccentricity of the ellipse we have one formula b square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square with the help of that we can determine the value of the eccentricity have you followed the strategy of the problem how to solve the problem okay i hope you might have understand the method and one more thing i would like to share through our channel www.sakalavidya.com this question is very very important for the all engineering or other entrance examinations same this type of questions may appear in engineering entrance examinations also so try to concentrate on more this kind of problems okay let us continue this problem now given that given that length of the lattice rectum is equal to half times major axis okay the length of the lattice rectum is given by 2b square by a 
which is equal to half times 2a. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. We have 2b square by a equals to a. Cross multiply. 2b square is equal to we get a square. Say this equation 1. I already told you we know that in standard ellipse we know that b square is equal to a square into 1 minus c e square. From 1 you can substitute a square value here. From 1 this a square is replaced by 2 b square. b square is equal to 2 b square into 1 minus e square. Here b square b square gets cancelled. We get 1. 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus e square. So, 1 by 2 is equal to 1 minus e square. So, e square is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2. We have to find out e value. e is equal to root over 1 by 2. This is 1 by root 2. This is the solution. Eccentricity of the ellipse is given by 1 by root 2. Okay? I hope you might have understood the total procedure. Twelfth problem. If the length of the lattice rectum of an ellipse, an ellipse is equal to, is equal to half of its minor axis minor axis find its eccentricity eccentricity ok so in this case also we have to treat the given ellipse is in standard form that is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. So, what is the difference between the previous problem and this problem means in the previous problem the length of the lattice rectum is equal to the half of the major axis. Here only one change the length of the lattice rectum is equal to half of the minor axis. That means, here 2 b square by a equals to half times 2 b, 2 2 gets cancelled. Again we get relation between a and b. We know that b square is equal to a square of 1 minus e square. With the help of that condition, we can find out e value. Okay, shall we proceed? let us do it. So, this is also one of the important problems for engineering entrance examinations either state level or national level. So, better try to concentrate on this problem also. Okay. Given that length of the
लैटस रेक्टम इज इक्वल टू हाफ टाइम्स माइनर एक्सिस माइनर एक्सिस सो लेंथ ऑफ द लैटस रेक्टम इज टू बी स्क्वायर बाय ए दिस इज हाफ टाइम्स टू बी दिस टू टू गेट्स कैंसिल टू बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए बी so cross multiply here b b gets cancel you get 2 b is equal to a say equation 1 we know that we know that b square is equal to a square into 1 minus c square so from 1 From one, replace a for this to be. Here b square is equal to a square means four b square into one minus c square. Here b square b square gets cancelled. So one is equal to four times one minus c square. This we can write one by four is equal to one minus c square. So e square is equal to one minus one by four. That is three by four. Okay. Now e equals to root of three by four. That is root three by two. Therefore, e is equal to root three by two. Okay. Understood. Just note down the problem.